Hey, McManiacs, welcome back to another Monday sit rep episode. We got some restock pre orders to go over, some restocks in general, but remember, we are doing that mock builder sale right now, the Mockalypse Now. Mockalypse sale. Now. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Um, so that's going on. Remember, that is 10% off promo code build it on brick arms, minifig gear, mock accessories, and stickers that runs through the end of the month because we have our Vietnam mock contest that ends on June 1st, and we want people to have what they need to build. Wow, Dylan, all those stickers, brick arms, and accessories would be perfect for helping me build a diorama for a contest. It's almost like we planned it that way. Oh, I see. We yes. didn't, it just happened to line up. No, it's, it's, it's a, that's a cool tie-in. Mm -hmm. It's a great reason to pick up a bunch of uh, you know, accessories for your minifigures. Yeah. Great detail addition pieces, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and actually, we've got some prevalent stuff back too that will be on discount. Uh, we're kind of we'll jump around here a little bit, but we have both. Finally, I know they were kind of asked for. We have both of the Brick Arms uh, Mitchell pattern helmets back. Oh. So that's the Born to Kill, and then just the standard one is general. Um, those are eligible under that discount, so make sure to go take advantage of those because what Vietnam Monk would be complete without some Mitchell pattern helmets. Absolutely, I mean that's that's a cool looking thing. And I know people literally since we started Vietnam Month, we're like, where are they? We're like, we're trying to get them. We need to get them, we need to get them printed, et cetera. Now they're there and available, so those, those are back. Um, we also have the uh, US Marine Corps Devil Dogs, which is kind of an outlier restock, but was one that we wanted to bring back, and so it, it we fit it in where we could. And then obviously the minifig of the month, the Way Marines, um, are also back for their final restock Ooh. today, <clears throat> assuming they're still there, because they've been going fast all month. I think that's been one of the more sought after ones we've done. Yeah, that has been, it's been an it's hour cool. or less sellout pretty much every time. I'm, so. I'm pretty pumped how, those, how yeah. well those went. So. We're trying to make as many as we can. It's not necessarily one that after this month will go away forever, um, but it won't obviously be coming back every Monday after this. So hopefully you were able to pick some up. If not, get on that today uh, because this is, this is the last run, the minifig of the month. And then we head over into Desert Storm Bricks, yeah. which you can kind of see from here, we have actually our Mogadishu lineup uh, coming back because all these kits were released, I think, pretty close to each other, if not like a couple weeks apart. Maybe this one I think was delayed a little bit. Historically um, accurate, tipped over UN vehicle. Yeah, right. The UN vehicle actually can't sit on its, we no. <laughs> There's like one UN soldier watching right now. Like, come on, every, yeah, time, really? every time. <laughs> Even at the base, they all sit like this. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is fun because it has uh, a lot of windows. That's that's what you look for in your. Okay, in your so I, I give these this UN vehicle a ton of crap, but it, it is one of my more favorite builds. It's just, it's it stands out. I mean, intentionally so, it stands out in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a really like kind of iconic vehicle, I think, for this era. Yeah, well, and the versatility of it. I mean, they used it in conflicts all over the yeah. world, so you could stick this almost anywhere with. It. And it actually does come with a minifig. We just don't have it with us. Um, so it it is a really really cool kit that comes with the brick arm, comes with a printed minifigure, and has you know six wheels, playable interior, opening hatches, et cetera, for an awesome price point. You know, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's made with, with white bricks, yeah. um, but at the same time, it's historically accurate, and, and you, know, you can use that to your advantage because we can pass those savings on to you guys. So. And that is one of my favorite minifigures I think I've put together for a kit before. So mm -hmm. just again, it's, it's sort of that uh, juxtaposition of, of different gear you know, you get their local uniform, you get that woodland camouflage mm -hmm. camouflage uh, vest, and then the UN helmet. I think it's just a really eye-catching... Um, Fantastic menu. mustache. Yeah. <laughs> now, I feel bad talking about it with not having it here, but we'd throw a render up or something like yeah. that. So it is, it is definitely a cool figure and an awesome kit. And then the, uh, the, the Mogadishu Humvee comes with this little two-person crew. This is just, I mean, I got both of these. Actually, all three of these kits are just like their movie kits. Every, every action movie I watched as a kid had one of the three of these in it at least some way, shape, or this form. Is just, this is a little diorama going on here mm -hmm. right now. Just build, add some terrain, you know. Get that helicopter up in the air. A little building yeah. in the background. An angry mob. Mm -hmm. no, no, you're totally right. That is, that is definitely something that they, they all work together like that. So this got some cool functions. Um, you can open up the, the front and the back. Obviously that two-person crew is awesome. Some texture printing on the doors. But it is, it is a super solid, durable kit. Yeah. Uh, and I like this I like this M2HB on top. So kind of that classic look. Um, timeless, really. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of a Humvee. I think mm -hmm. maybe more in a lot of other people's minds, they'd be thinking of a desert version. But I don't know, I guess growing up in the, in the 90s, I sort of think of the woodland camouflage. Yeah. When Godzilla rolled into New York in 2000. That's it. That's what showed up to bring him his <laughs> pile of fish. What an awful movie. When the movie Godzilla <laughs> rolled into New York. Yeah, right. The movie Godzilla rolled into New York. Tragedy. 
Poor, Tragedy. Poor, poor Matthew Broderick. Let's move on to uh, to the uh, the Razor's Edge, the Black Hawk. <clears throat> this is another one of those kits that just has not been in stock since well before the holidays, I think. And uh, we needed to bring it back. So it comes with a lot of different customization options in the sense that this is you know, pre the, the, the super printing, so all the stickers and stuff allow you to be able to do different tail numbers, different names. I think you actually get all three of the different Blackhawks that were involved in, in Blackhawk down in the, in the Mogad Battle of Mogadishu. Um, but this thing is what really kicked off Dan's 2020 helicopter obsession. I don't know, just like we, we just cranked them out and this, you know, really set the precedent for that, that new cockpit design, those opening pilot doors. Um, even just some of the stuff like the uh, the feed, the brick arms feed shoots, etc. All that kind of was inspired from this initial build, um, and and the crew. I don't yeah. know if, it, if you can get like maybe one of those guys out. Okay, to show there's off. a guy right here. Cool. Um, the rest of the guys, I mean, you, they're kind of built into the yeah. No, it's, the it's all good. Um, again, this era is just really interesting. Um, that's one of those earlier. Um, I don't recall the exact name of the vest. But it's one of the, I, I believe it's the first uh, armor, uh, body armor vest that has like a pull cord that will quick release the vest. So in case of like a medical, you know, oh, if sure. you need medical attention, you got to get that, that vest off. So there's like a pull cord that kind of runs through the vest and you yank it. I think it's at the bottom there, that little yellow tab. Hmm. So that was, the, I think, where they first pioneered that uh, life-saving technology. So, yeah. Wow, that is, yeah, that's a cool little tidbit. I think we've talked about these figures a whole bunch. I don't think we... We probably have. I just didn't remember it. It's cool to know. Yeah. So, cool vest. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's like specific to these guys. Like it's really, a really, it's a very rare uh, for collectors right now, mm -hmm. that, that actual vest. And I, I guess the minifigure too now. <laughs> yeah. So. Sweet helicopter, sweet crew. And definitely, like you said, kind of that cool transition era with, with some of that very, very interesting gear that literally you could keep reading on for years and years and still mm -hmm. learn something new every time you mm -hmm. every time you dig into it. So got all the standard functions. Uh, it does the tail boom all folds up, all that kind of stuff if you are, you know, transporting it. Um, I think the doors actually click back and forth. They're not the sliding ones like on the Huey, but that's to kind of keep that, that tapered shape of it as well. Obviously, there's that new cockpit design. There's a whole bunch of cool details, et cetera, in there um, that are fun to look at. So if you don't own this kit yet and you're a big fan of Brickmania, this is uh, <clears throat> definitely one to shoot for. Hopefully one that we'll uh, you know, keep in stock or, or at least keep restocking um, just because you know, it's a Blackhawk. It's iconic. Yeah. It is, uh, it's everything you want it to be in a, in a cool attack helicopter. Like I remember that, when so. this was like the big Brickmania kit. Oh, I guess, I guess Dan had a, a few castles back in the day, but that was before mm -hmm. I was working at Brickmania. But when I first came aboard, like, the Blackhawk was the big kit. Yeah. I mean, it's still a super impressive kit, but We've, we've released some big, uh, some bigger airplanes and helicopters since then. Mm -hmm. so. It's almost one of those kits too, where you like need the studs on the top of the rotors to remind you that's Lego. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you don't, you know, and if you don't, if you look at it from a distance, you're just like, wow, it's a really cool Blackhawk model. And it's like, no, it's actually that's made Lego. of bricks, and you can take it apart. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. I love that windshield. The way the, everything that Dan has done with the with the helicopter uh, cockpits, just the front of them. The way he's been able to transition them to the various, you know, variants, and I know it's kind of like once you get the techniques down, you can apply them across to various different things. But man, he just he nailed it in that first run with with yeah. this kit, and then has been able to transition it since. And you can see all over the internet, it has set a new precedent for oh, the totally. way people are building the the front of their helicopters now. So because there's there's no corner cutting, uh, yeah. and that's cool to see. And this this design just at its core, there's a lot of similar elements to sort of his his original builds. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's obviously an evolution of then, but. You know, he has definitely established the foundation for a, like just countless uh, amounts of different models, including uh, helicopters. So yeah, it's cool seeing the, this latest version. Mm -hmm. Would love to see one of these mocks. Maybe we'll do yeah, maybe we'll do something along these lines in the future. We're doing the Vietnam one right now. Who knows what'll be? I think we got World War II up next. We'll see. We'll see. Nothing. Nothing set in stone. We'll see what it looks like moving forward. But all of this on restock pre-order available right now. Brickmania.com. A um, couple of things to go over. I remember that sale, promo code build it on those select categories. Check the website for details. The last AC-130 restock is coming, is going to be available for restock pre-order on the 1st of February. That will be the last time that we are able to restock that variant of it. So it's definitely, uh, if it's on your list, make sure to have that date circled. Uh, the vault is coming back on the 4th Ooh. of February. We have a pretty nice haul. I haven't been able to put everything all together yet because it's still kind of in pieces. Um, but we've got some real gems that are ready to go up in the vault. So that should be a really, really fun launch there early in February. And then like we were saying, 
mock builder sale because the mock contest does end on June 1st. Um, so that'll be a, we, the hype has been awesome. We're really, really excited to see some of these builds. Uh, check out the video that me and Landon did last Wednesday uh, in front of the uh, Vietnam mock in the GHQ. We just go over some techniques, etc. We're hoping that once Dan's got a little bit of extra time on his hands, we can get, actually get him down there to talk a little bit about the actual construction of that mock, how he began it, if he can remember however many years ago that whole thing first came together. I'm sure, I'm sure he remembers, yeah. <laughs> this, I, I've set that thing up once or twice. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five times probably. Yeah, right. Definitely a legacy <laughs> mock. It's, it, it's been around for a while. so But we hope to have that in the future, uh, and that'll be cool. Um, anything else? No? Good to go? Cool. We'll see what's going on later this week. Otherwise, we'll for sure see you on Friday. Thank you very much for watching.